What are the top 10 manga with the most volumes? My number one series of all time is One Piece, which is now well over 100 volumes. I was shocked to learn that One Piece is not king when it comes to volume count. In this episode, I will be breaking down the top 10 manga with the most volumes and see who really sits on top of the throne. Welcome to the GTP. My name is Scott and my goals help you find great experiences for yourself and your family. But before we get started, I do have a small teeny disclaimer. Now some of these series we're gonna go over today are still ongoing, meaning that over time, depending when you watch this video, this list will have some changes on who reigns supreme in the top 10. But it's still an amazing feat in itself as all the series we're gonna talk about today have over 100 volumes. At number 10, we actually start with a tie as both these series have 115 volumes. Number 10 being Kobu, The Little Rascal, and Anahe. Now Kobu, this series started as a comic strip back in 1982. Kobu is a slice of life comedy series about a little boy and his everyday adventures as a five-year-old. Now, Kobu is not easily accessible in English, but a series I do recommend if this intrigues you is Yatsuba, as this is a story about a five-year-old as well, but a girl and her adventures as she is wandering around as a five-year-old, getting a mischief, and just her lens of everyday life. It's a wholesome, fun, hilarious series. So let's talk about Anahe. This series starred in 1993, the main character is essentially a police officer in Japan in the year 1787. You follow the main character as a detective solving various crimes around the region. I was able to find some scans online of fans translations of Anahe and I was actually a bit surprised I had never heard of this series before making this list as it did seem surprisingly intriguing following a detective from the 1700s in Japan as he's trying to solve various crimes and mysteries going on in the region. Now, number nine was a bit of a surprise for me. Coming in at 131 volumes is Jojo Bizarre Adventure. This series started in 1989. Luckily, they are releasing the series in English with us receiving a new volume every couple of months. What is nice about this series is that it is divided into sections that have their own self-contained story. The Jojo of Universe is a mix of real world events and the supernatural. And if you want more information about Jojo Bizarre Adventure, if you click the I on the right hand corner, you can see my review of Jojo Bizarre Adventure Part 1. I will give you a little teaser. It's amazing, it's fun, and it is bizarre indeed, but it's one I highly recommend checking out. Coming in at number eight is Hajime no Hippo with 134 volumes. Now this is a sports manga about boxing. It is an incredibly popular series that my guess only because of its sheer number of volumes has never been brought over in English. The story is known for its strong character development, not only about boxing, but understanding the backstory behind each of the fighters, motivations, and relationships. Now luckily, some of the seasons of the anime have made it over in English. And this is one I always have my fingers crossed that I'm hoping that someday some publisher would go ahead and bring it over and just laugh off at the 134 volumes and just somehow slowly bring this to us. If they can do it with Jojo Bizarre Adventures, I believe they could do it with this series as well, as I've seen many people actually have this list on their top 10 of best series of all time. Now coming in at number seven is Silver Fang with 144 volumes. This manga has various sequels, starting with a story about a young pup named Jin that lives among wild dogs in the mountains. While gathering other dogs to help challenge and fight a vicious bear who has been terrorizing the area. Now the sequel to Silver Fang is the story of his son named Weed. And I thought it was pretty interesting the premise where the lead of the story is actually a dog instead of actually following that of a human or an alien race or robot. So it is pretty interesting. It was one I actually did not know nothing about until we started going through this list. 
coming in at number six is the Grappler Bakey with 147 volumes. This is a martial arts manga following a teenager named Bakey who travels around the world as he trains in different fighting skills to take on different opponents. The first goal to become strong enough to take on his legendary father. And this manga currently spans four different series and even though we don't really have much over here in English, some of it was transferred digitally, but nothing physically, but there is an anime adaptation on Netflix. Luckily we have that to supplement not having the manga. And as we go into the top five, if you've been enjoying this content, would you go ahead and smash the like button? And in the comments below, would you share which of these either surprised you or were there any of these manga you had never heard of before like myself? And coming in at number five, we have Cooking Papa with 161 volumes. This story revolves around a salary man. For those who do not know, a salary man is typically a office worker who's paid an annual salary instead of being paid per hour. And in Japan, this often means long hours and high stress corporate environment. The salary man in this manga also loves to cook. And one thing I thought was really interesting and pretty cool is that in this manga, there are actual recipes. As you follow the characters and what they're cooking, they give you the recipe so that you can go ahead and try to make it home yourself. I think that'd be really neat as there are other mangas I've read where you follow the characters and they cook, but there's not really a recipe. And I love the idea of kind of tasting and even trying some of the recipes out that we see in some of our favorite stories. Coming in at number four is Minami no Tenyu with 165 volumes. This story centers around a lone shark who charges 10% more interest every 10 days going after anyone who owes him money. The main character has special money collecting tactics and is seen as a demon in the business district. This is considered to be a psychological drama and thriller. And as you can see, most of the volumes, it does appear the main character is irritated, if not a little angry. And I'm curious, over time, going through over 150 volumes, does he have a change of heart for those who are struggling to pay back their debts, or is he still ruthless as ever, making sure everyone pays him back? Coming in at number three is Kochi Kim Tokyo B Cops with, get this, 201 volumes. Just think about that for a moment. One Piece, one of the greatest manga of all time, has 102 volumes currently. Could you imagine adding another 100 volumes on top of that for the story, like you're seeing with Tokyo B Cops with 201 volumes? This story takes place in present day about an underpaid policeman who is always coming up with schemes to make some fast cash. This is a gag manga where everything goes wrong with his plans, getting himself in more trouble with the police chief. And this series has been going on for over 40 years. And what's neat, even though the story started in the 1970s, as the times have changed, the characters aren't aging, but the characters do have new technology. So in the 1970s, characters didn't have cell phones, but as you read the stories today, the characters are picking up a cell phone. And I thought that was really cool. Also, you now have a generation following where not only kids enjoy the story, but also adults who grew up with the series over time from the 70s, 80s, early 90s, 2000s, 10s, and so forth. And I just think that's an amazing legacy when you have a story that spans across multiple generations and people still love it. Coming in at number two is Golgo with 204 volumes. Now Golgo 13 is the oldest manga that's still in publication to this day starting in 1968. Golgo 13 is a professional assassin for hire. This is a spy action thriller type of series and we do have some of the stories collected in English by Viz. Now that is an impressive feat of a spy action assassin with over 40 years of storytelling. It would not surprise me if some of the 007 movies or the Mission Impossibles had some inspiration from some of the stories in Golgo 13. 
Now coming in at number one, the reign supreme is Dokaben, which has 205 volumes. And I'll be honest, it was a series I had never heard of before until I started researching for this video. This is a baseball manga and considered to be one of the most popular sports manga of all time. The story takes place with the main character playing in high school and you follow his journey into the pros and beyond. Now this manga recently finished 46 years of publication and because of that I would not be surprised within the next year if Golgo 13 becomes the new reigning champion and surpasses this manga as it's still continuing. So that is the top 10 manga with the most volumes. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun researching and learning about these different series. In the comments below, would you mind sharing something that you learned about this list? And if you'd like to see more content like this and you've not done so already, would you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel? That helps others know about this thriving community that we are growing together. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.